Tomcat has a number of optional user interface elements, and one of them is the ribbon. A ribbon consists of tabs, panels, groups, buttons, and flyouts. If the ribbon is not visible in BricsCAD, then you can turn it on by typing at the command line, ribbon. Press enter, and there it is. To customize it, right-click any part of the ribbon, and then choose Customize. Here's the Customize dialog box. Now along the tabs, choose Ribbon, and you'll see it consists of two major parts, Ribbon Tabs and Ribbon Panels, and these are the ones I showed you earlier. So tabs are these along the top here, and panels make up the tabs. Let's open up a Ribbon Tab to see what's inside of this section. So the first one here is you can see is home and it matches that. Now there's another home called 3D and that's the home tab for when you're in a 3D modeling environment. Customizing the ribbon involves a lot of indirection and so which tabs and panels you see actually depend on workspaces. So let's look what's inside of the home 2D node. When I open it up by clicking the plus you see file, file, Bricks is 24-7, Bricks is 24-7, edit, edit, and so on. Now, each of these seem to be empty. That's because they're names of panels. And to see what's inside a panel, you close up the ribbon tab, open up the panel tab, and here you have the home file 2D panel. So this is the home tab file panel for 2D environments. Let's open it up and see what's inside. First thing you see is a row. So this is the row of buttons here. Let's open up the row and you can see there's the new command, working sets command, open command, and so on. The plus sign next to new means that that's a flyout. So when you hold your cursor button on the new, it opens up and shows these other commands. Further down, we can see how the stack of three buttons is constructed. You specify a new panel and then a row with a single button in each one. Let's do the easiest type of customization of the ribbon, and that's to add a button. So right click anywhere on the ribbon, choose Customize, and here we are in the Ribbon tab, and this is the Home 2D that we were looking at before. And we want to add the Export button to the File panel. So here I can right click, Show Panel, and BricsCAD jumps down to the Home File 2D panel that we saw earlier. Now, to add a button, you click the existing button before where you want the new one to go. So I'm going to right-click Save, choose Insert Command Button. And up comes the Add Ribbon Command Button dialog box. And I'm going to scroll down here to File, because that's where file-related commands are. And there's Export. Click OK, and it's added. Now, to see it in the ribbon, you need to close this dialog box. Click OK. Uh, BricsCAD redoes the ribbon, and there's the export button. But it's kind of small. It doesn't match the size of the other ones. So let's see how we can make that change. Right click, customize, and then back into the ribbon panel section. There's the export button. Now down here is the properties of the button, and we can see button style, small without text. So click the down arrow to see the list of options, and there's the large ones. Well, I'll choose the horizontal one to show you what that means. So choose it, click OK, ribbon reconfigures, and there's now the large export button with the label placed horizontally. This would be a large button with the label placed vertically. We've seen how to add a button to the ribbon. Let's take a look at what it takes to add a panel. So I'm going to go into Panels, right click, and you can see Append Ribbon Panel. It asks you for a name, and I'm going to make a panel that has only export commands on it. So let's call it My Export, and we can copy and paste that here. But here for the ID, we need to start it off with RP, that's short for Ribbon Panel and then we can put the rest of the name in. So there's a new panel. It's empty right now. So we'll um, append a row. And then once we have that row element there, we can start adding buttons. So append command button. Fast way to get to file is tab F for file. There's the export command. Okay. Let's repeat this a few times. 
and I'll add in the export PDF command and one more. Let's make it the uh, export options. Okay, so now we have three buttons there. They might not be in the right order, so it's just a matter of dragging them. So I'm going to take this one, drag it up, and now we have the export command first and the others. So let's click OK. There's nothing here. Well, that's because we need to add it to a tab. Back into Customize. Here is the Home tab and it's uh, a pen panel and then we can uh, they're listed in alphabetical order here so i'll press m to get to the my section my export okay and i'm going to drag that up to so it's right next to file click okay and there's the my export panel now there's a blank in the middle for the export options so you would have to create your own icon for that 